published 21.16 EDT, 28 October 2017 Updated 21.16 EDT, 28 October 2017 Jorge Grant scored twice as Knott's County moved back to the top of Sky Bet League 2 with a 30 win against 10-man Newport. The Exiles were reduced to 10 men after 34 minutes when Dan Butler was dismissed following an aerial challenge with Matt Tootle and Newport fell behind shortly afterwards when Grant slotted in a John Stead pass. Shola Amy OB doubled the Magpies' lead with a neat finish after 52 minutes, turning in a Grant cross, and the latter scored his second of the match three minutes later when he nodded in the rebound from his own saved shot. Coventry City's Duckins Nason celebrates scoring during his side's win at Luton Accrington, are up to second following a crushing 41 win at home to Barnet. Stanley took a 35th minute lead when the ball fell to Sean McConville and he smashed into the top corner. Barnet's Jamal Campbell Rice missed a penalty before Accrington doubled their lead in the 51st minute when Jordan Clark fired home his third goal in as many games. Campbell Rice reduced the deficit for Barnet when he slammed home three minutes later, but two goals in six minutes from Billy Key and Caden Jackson eased Accrington to victory. Luton, who topped the table at the start of play, were beaten 30 at home by Coventry. Mark McNulty opened the scoring for the Sky Blues after 17 minutes with a towering header from Jody Jones crossed Coventry's first goal in five league games. Glenn Ray was sent off in the closing stages for a last-man challenge on McNulty, and the visitors took full advantage with Jordan Shipley adding a stunning second from distance, and Duckins Nason's deflected strike sealing the points. Cheltenham came from 31 down to take a point in a 33 draw at Wickham. Nason steered home the third goal of the game for Coventry at Kenilworth Road on Saturday Brian Graham was left unmarked to score the opening goal for the Robins from four yards, but Wickham were back on level terms early in the second half when Averies turned in Sam Saunders' low cross. The Chairboys turned the game on its head shortly afterwards when Adebayo Akinfenwa converted the rebound from Nick Freeman's shot and the Burley striker made it nine for the season with a neat finish at the end of a flowing passing move. Cheltenham refused to give up, however and after Carl Winchester made it 32 with a well-taken strike, a powerful header from Graham snatched them a point. Lee Holmes rescued Exeter a point in an 11-draw at Mansfield, while Mikkel Mandarin scored twice for Colchester as they came from behind to beat Crew 31. Kellen Gordon sealed a comprehensive 30 victory for Swindon at Port Vale. Keenu Marsh Brown set Forest Green on their way to a 20 success against Morecambe and Christian Dennis snatched a point for Chesterfield in a 22 draw at home to Carlisle. Yeovil finished their clash with Stevenage with nine men, but were already leading 30 through a Sam Surridge brace and an Oliafella Alamola effort. Alamola was sent off for his part in a 22 man melee, and shortly afterwards another red was brandished as. Kevin Toner was dismissed for Stevenage to make it 10 aside. The Glovers finished with 9 when Francois Zoko was sent off for a high challenge, but they comfortably held on. The games between Grimsby and Cambridge and Lincoln and Crawley ended goalless, 